We're joining Ray Thompson and friends going down to the Eastern Cape border area to be specific in their quest to test before their national championships which will take place in the next two weeks. This area is a pristine piece of coastline along the South African coast and normally produces a lot of edible and smaller non-edible fish. But one of the main target species, especially for competition anglers, must be the ragged tooth sharks. They range from 20 kilo all the way to over 200 sometimes. But majority of them are pups up until 100 kilos. The most difficult part is finding them and making sure that all the elements required aligns. Water temperature, color, and the tides for that specific spot. Now the best bait for them are all your fishy baits. Mackerel, bonito, sardines, or the combination of. But most effective bait in this area must still be the mullet. Alan O'Connor was the first to get stuck into some of the smaller eggs. was the first to hook a really good raggy, estimated over a hundred kilos, that really made him dance around on the rocks. Ryan's hooked the raggy, we're trying to get it to come into the bay over here, there's a big mother-in-law over there. Once we get it close enough, we're going to try and guide it up there where we can actually land it, okay? We've now encountered another problem. The reg is going left, and there's a big reef here on the right hand side. And it's kind of hardest to get it to go right, but this fish is too fast. It's a big fish. Let's hope we don't get cut off. Unfortunately, it doesn't always go your way, as we know in fishing. This raggy ended up biting him off. Bitten off, unfortunately. Just one of those things. Try again with that raggy. Yeah, you bugger. Everything went right up until the time that he got bitten off. Oh, sorry, guys, next time. The fish that unfortunately give us a hard time here, the little shy shark. Anyway, we will try and catch another one. Definitely be twice the size. Ray got stuck into a really nice raggy and fighting these bigger fish over these rocks can be quite the challenge. circle got him right in the side where he's supposed to get him and just a little pull like that and he's off and you can see why we use so much wire he actually ate all the way up the line look at that lovely male um, I'm gonna try and put him in the water yeah get my tagging kit and just give him a bit of a 
This we know they are, and they are anything from 80 kilos to those little pups that we were getting earlier on. Plan come together for a change. Thanks, guys. See you later. If you catch that last raggy that you saw, it's just cutlets of bonito. the belly off and basically just wrapping the belly part around the dangle just giving it a, a base to work with and the water is pushing very very quickly here so I must probably got one more chance of throwing off the end of that rock that I was fishing at before we can't fish anymore One big chunk of bunny, that's all it really is. And we're forming it like a football, just to give it its shape, make it a little bit more aerodynamic. And all the intestines are going in there as well. And it's definitely not a pretty bait, but time is of the essence. So I'm rushing to do it as quickly as I can to get another bait in before we get pushed off here. And it looks horrible, but that is the bait that I was using. A big chunk of bait like that. to get him to the beach now. I've got one little rock that I've still got to get him over and then he just should come in. We should get this one in. He should come in quite nicely. It's a nice fish. He's really working my case here at the moment. There's a lot of weed in the water too which is worrying me. Come on my boy. Let's go. Let's go. Another big challenge is fetching them in the waves, which Alan found out quickly. I got tears in my eyes from all the laughter there. At least the old man's got a butter tail now. and catch these lovely raggies. Good testing for the nationals that are coming up. It's good to see the fish are here and I just hope I do well in it. Well done. To the end of a lovely day here at Car Park. We've got a total of six raggies. Some of them were over 60 kilos. A lot of small ones as well. We duffed a lot of fish. Um, unfortunately, 
one of the harder fish to actually hook and land. We got cut off once or twice as well by the rocks or other anglers. Difficult day all in all, but we achieved what we wanted to, and that was to come here and just test for the raggies. I've learned a lot going forward. I'm going to put that into practice and see if I can do better. But as the day progressed, the raggies got bigger and bigger, and that's what I like to see. We're getting better at it, we're learning a lot from it, and I'm happy. I'm very happy. All in all, a successful testing outing.